But hey, at least we have a drill now. And we can uh, open for a lot more paths, hopefully. And at least I know Pedro's gone for definite now. Now, where's Gabe? I get the sneaking suspicion he's the one who's been watching us. What, from the other side? Okay. Now, I don't remember where any drill holes were. Oh, back near the elevator. Of course. Derp. And I feel like a tip. Where is the elevator? There. Hey. All right. What the? This guy's got the same exact bracelet as you. Moira had one too. Like oh god, there he is. What kind of f messed up experiment <laughs> was this? So his arm did start mutating, but luckily, I think, I'm hoping, judging by his very dead expression, and the fact the bracelet's deactivated, that he either one managed to stop it, or two, the uh, burning alive got him. But that's definitely his knife. That's the point. I went through so much ammo trying to take down Pedro. Sorry, Gabe. At least you went down fighting it. Me and Moira got separated here. The nice guy came and got me. Nice guy? Dude kidnapped you. The one from Terra Safe who rescued me. I wonder if Moira made it to the tower. She made it. Come on. Let's see what we can find. I cannot go in there, see if any goodies respawned. Just probably should check. In case there's anything. Oh, okay. Right, so the guy that kidnapped her from Claire and Moira was part of Terra Save anyway. So why did he sneak up and take her? And who is this supposed nice guy? Well, at least we made it to the tower. This place has changed. Yeah. Pretty creepy, huh? See a note. Another brick for uh, Natalia there. And her name scribbled across the wall quite a few times. Clinic experiment notes. Trials for the T Phobus virus are almost complete. We've managed to reduce the lethality of the T virus while creating the condition that tr it triggers upon the type being subjected to strong emotional trauma. We've also lowered the rate of viral resistance to 2%. All is proceeding as planned. However, the time draws near. We are close to perfection, but there is zero margin for error. T Phobos. And they have been using the T virus for it. Down to you, Iris, man. This place is fucked up. So much to do in Natalia is important. Kill. Oh, that's fucking creepy. Parting words to my dear father. You poor, decrepit, decrepit old man. You wanted to create a new world and rule over it as a god. 
But for all your ambitions, you couldn't overcome man's most formidable enemies, age and disease. You had everything but your crumbling body betrayed you. And then your own sn son snuffed out whatever pitiful entrails of life you had left. Leaving you to become nothing more than a footnote in the annals of history, you failed old man. But fear not, your dream will live on. I will take the wealth of knowledge, power and test subjects you have given me. Succeed where you failed, I will create the new world and I will rule over as its god. Your legacy will have been long forgotten, but mine has only just begun. May your soul, if you ever had one, rot in torment for all eternity. And let hell be filled with the sound of your teeth gnashing incessantly. Shit, that's talking about fucking... Wesker and... Oh God, what the hell was his name? Basically, the original founder of Umbrella. Shit. Oh, Wesker, we know... Fuck, what was his name? That's really gonna bug me. We know he got wes uh, wasted by Wesker. And then Chris and Sheva left Wesker dying in a la fucking volcano. There ain't no way he survived that, right? Seriously, all these baby toys are creeping me the fuck out. scary. I can't stand her. Who? The woman here with Wesker? That is Wesker. Alex Wesker. Two Weskers? You gotta be shitting me. <laughs> so you finally came. I knew you would. Natalia. Wesker had a fucking sister? Next time on Revelations 2. Wait. This is Moira's. No. No sign of her. Uh, of course this factory had to be a fucked up factory. She's responsible for the experiment six months ago. It's got all our names on it. I'll crush you. Where did we go wrong? Where's Moira? <laughs> Seriously though, Wesker had a sister? Son of a bitch! No, 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 don't start the next episode! Ah, oh, thank you. Fuck! You had a sister? Really? Because the first one wasn't bad enough. I have 10,000 skill points. Holy shit. That's tempting.
That's a good idea. I don't really know what's worth getting and what's not. I think I'd rather they be able to hold up their own a little bit more. Let's improve that as well. Okay, so that does it for episode 2, my god thank god the story picked up a little bit in that second half, because I tell you now, that first half was really just annoying more than anything, I'd liked more focus on the actual infection and how it was working when Pedro became infected, well when his virus triggered basically, but because they were throwing enemies at you, you couldn't really get an idea on exactly what was going on. Got a little bit more idea with Gabe's death. At the same time, kept a lot hidden. So I really would like to know more about that. Um, I do have a bit of criticism for this one. It wasn't quite as enjoyable as the first. Purely because they did keep throwing just enemies after enemies. And I'm up for the whole survival horror instinct of limited ammo and stuff. But the amount of enemies they were throwing and stuff... Especially during Claire's part, well, pretty much only during Claire's part, it was just ridiculous, and was just stressful more than anything. But luckily, it did pick up, push through it, and I am I'm excited to uh, play episode three now because I want to know what's next. I know who the bad guy is. Fucking another Wesker! Holy shit! But that's it for now. If you've enjoyed this episode, be sure to leave a like and a comment with your thoughts on the game so far what you're excited to see, and yeah, until then, have fun.